back to Swiss Family Fun. I'm Tanya and the next couple days we're hiking in Engelberg. We're on the Tell Trail, which is a long distance trail in eight stages. We're gonna do stage six and seven. We're starting in Engelberg, which is this gorgeous town I'm in right now. And we're gonna start early tomorrow morning. Had a great sleep and we've woken up to gorgeous weather. Now we're gonna ride up this gondola here to Trubse to start our hike. Let's go. If you have kids, you should definitely come here. This is a fantastic playground. I have another video that I'll link here that's all about going around the Troupe with the kids, but today we're doing something else, going up to the top of that mountain. All right, we can see lake number two here. This is the Anks Lindsay. Yeah, Anks Lindsay. And then I mean, you might be able to see the Milksay Fruit Lakes over there. So now we're doing a little bit of uphill. We're on what's called the Speicherflu. It's going up to the Milkseefruit Lakes. We're leaving this beautiful Anxlen Alp area behind. I love it so much. I can't even, I'm here and I still can't wait to come back. If you need a break, you can take the train over to Milkseefruit and skip a couple K here. We're now leaving Melksay Fruit, this beautiful lake behind me, and we are gonna follow this trail sign up here to Agli Alp. We 100% don't know how to say it properly. We are loving this so much. There is no one out here. It's amazing. And I've been to Milk Safe Fruit so many times. I didn't even know this hike was here. You should 100% come do this. We need an explanation for this because it looks a little religious. <laughs> We're not sure. Is it cow feeding, cow milking, cow sacrifice? We need to know. It's about 3.15 and it's really hot and we lost the breeze, so we're feeling it. But I think we'll be up this part in about an hour and it should be okay. So we 
at the very top of the trail and we are gonna hike down to that mountain hotel down over there. There's some parking. So we still have about an hour and a half to go. Okay, what is this? Is it a tiny house? Is there someone in there? I think this might be the best part of the trip. I'm so excited. It's gorgeous. It's a little steep, but it's a great way to end the day. I, I just can't wait to go down this part. So this part is a really steep part and there's some metal um, rungs that you can walk on. One of them was broken, so we're gonna be very careful. Here's a part where people might feel uncomfortable. There's a chain for us to grab because it's quite steep over the side here and we don't wanna fall. <laughs> so we're gonna hold on to the chain and be very conservative on our way down to just feel very safe as we go down. I mean, there's a lot of slippery rocks and you don't wanna make any mistakes right here. Okay, we've got another part here, not with a chain, but with a rope. So I appreciate that. We have a ladder, we have a cable, uh, the last part, which is hard when our legs are all shaky. Okay, we got more cables and it's a little wet here, so we're gonna be very careful. I mean, I appreciate that it's well built, but we're also just gonna be extra careful and not hurt ourselves on the very last bit here. Been a long, wonderful day. We were just saying we don't regret one minute of it. It was so great. We're almost to the hut. Okay, so it said 20 kilometers. Uh, my watch is showing, let's see right now, yeah, 20.3, so pretty close. And it, my map said seven and a half hours. We are at seven hours and 40 minutes, and that includes lunch and taking a swim and being very slow and taking lots of pictures. So I think we did pretty well. here at Egli Alp in this cute little guest house and the best view ever behind us and then we had breakfast over at the guest house here now we're ready to go to the Mittelpunkt der Schweiz and then on to Lungern about 18 kilometers today hopefully won't get any more sunburnt than I got yesterday now we are at the Mittelpunkt der Schweiz we can't see it because we're not tall enough but apparently this is in the shape of our country. Let's go in. So we're going to uh, Lungern and there are a couple trails that go down there. We're hopefully going to go to the one that's not too hard. Sometimes. 
we're so happy to have the forest coverage. Normally I don't love to be in the forest or trail when I have the views the whole time, but in a hot summer like this, you've got to have it. It's so good. This is kind of funny part of the trail because they are pointing us <laughs> straight down and there's no real defined trail. We're just kind of going straight down this mountain. I don't know. Okay, there is, this is the path, but look how it's just barely trodden. You can, you can see it, but it's hard to walk on. Here's where we just came down. Um, it's the Billy Goat Gruff. We've got two goats that have just emerged from the bridge. <laughs> yeah, and this dog isn't play. sure what to do with them. To play with them. So we were hiking right at that little U yesterday. That was that pass we came over. All of a sudden this got so rocky. That makes sense why that bike wasn't riding but walking down this trail. Unless this dog has followed us so long. I keep trying to send him back. I don't know where he lives. met the train tracks and now we turn down and kind of parallel the tracks to Lungern. We finished our amazing two-day adventure. We had a little over 18K getting here to Lungern Zee. We took a little dip in this gorgeous lake. It's been the perfect Swiss summer adventure. I will put all the information for this on our blog and I'll put a link in the description below and we'll see you here next time for more hiking in Switzerland. It's a long walk back uphill to the train station.